Hello, welcome to the channel. I will show you how to use mo NVIDIA Multi Prime Generation, which was supposed to be work only on 15,000 15, series. I discovered half a year ago that you can force activate it by the driver, and when you light the game, that you have more power for a game than actually you are. It's calling a fake GPU. Optical Scalar has provide fake GPU. So I'm going to show you today how to multi-frame generation on most of uh, any new game space on Unreal Engine 5. For, for now it's working on Cyberpunk, Spider-Man 2 and uh, Wuchang was working really good now. So we are in the game, right? I'm going to show, I have reshade, I'm going to show my FPS, I don't so we have 64 FPS, it's uh, actually 71, 72, but now OBS is taking um, some some FPS for him. <laughs> anyway, that's not the purpose of the video. We are in game now. We are playing on DLSS quality, almost anything of max shattering, definitely on zero. Thus, my settings, shadows not too extreme, only ultra, everything is not max. So, I have 60 FPS, we don't have frame generation here. You don't have it! No, Nvidia said, no, you don't have it! So, we are getting out of the game, and we are gonna hurry to Google! And we're gonna start crying Google about optical color. We're going to the GitHub, download it, the latest version which have fixed many issues in the moving area about frame generation, which is really good. And we install the files in some random folder, for example, optical scholars. And we are running this setup window. This is the DL file that optical scholar want to use. And this is the name. Most of the one and five are and six are most that it's used by the game files or some reshade, for example, is using one. So I always go to seven. And I'm using NVIDIA. This is it. You can delete this if you don't need it. I'm going to optical scholar ini. This uh, there is a three type three types of frame generation that uh, optical scholar is offering. Optical frame generation that you can force it like a uh, smooth motion is working like smooth motion but it's using DLSS a motion vector that's helping to the image to look real good you can use it in games that not supported not support frame generation you can which simulated more powerful game and simulate Nvidia to DLSS permission this option gonna unlock for us DLSS frame generation in the games and press save this is it now we need the file from uh, DLSS to FSR, I'm going to Google DLSS to FSR Nexus. We're going to the Nexus. I'm gonna download this file. The first one, and we're gonna install only that file DLSS to FSR and the embedder. Bam, to optical scholar folder. And now we have a working optical scholar that unlock the frame generation. But we sadly is only working by two. In order to force smooth frame generation, we're gonna need the NVIDIA DLL DLSS frame generation, which we can find in the touch power. And we're gonna need 
D DLSS. Oh, today we have a new file. Okay. And what do we have in this version? Uh, ASDK. Okay. I'm gonna use the new file. And we're gonna extract this file to folder that I call NVIDIA DLSS. So, this is DLSS G. G is for frame generation. G DLSS G. So, we are gonna need also there's new rare construction. Wow, okay. DLSS, the latest. Super resolution. And these two files we need to copy where the original DLSS is of the game. So, for example, in Wuchang, we have to go to Engine, Plugin, Runtime, Nvidia, DLSS, Binaries, Third Party, Win. Here is the original file on DLSS. We paste. And now the game has a DLSS frame generation. So, what's next? It's we need to download NVIDIA Profile Inspector. There are two versions. I'm using this because it have some uh, theme and some settings that are adjustable. You can download directly from GHub. Here the latest version. Download. And making we're gonna make a new folder. And here's the team classic modern Fanta Black. Okay, sign. And we put this file here. So now we need to copy the optical scale which is ready for any game from now you only put, need to put it where the main main exe of the game is for example in Wuchang is project power boundaries win64 and here is the main exe of the game here you putting these files here paste and we have now a optical installer down that game the last step is to force it through the NVIDIA Profile Inspector driver which we install here. I'm not going to open it from here because I already have installed it and the configurations are going to mess it up. So I'm going to use my version which is up exactly the same. Here are the global presets. We want to use it on Wuchang. So we're going to write Wuchang chunk follow on feathers so we are opening the exe now here latest dealer frame generation we are gonna set it to on and DLSS frame generation multi frame generation we're gonna set it at by four by the way by three is the best it works really good it feel really good less artifact but we're gonna show it time four you can prioritize the frame generation by smoothness or artifacts to smoothness to smoothness to artifacts. I will press it prefer image quality. Just pressing the apply button. And we are now ready to open the game with the we are setting down. So it was it's a little pointless to show by four is looking good, feel good, but there is a lot of artifacts. So if we we have now 64 FPS, the frame generation is not activated. When we activate it by four, we're gonna have a FPS penalty by 20 15 percent 
by 5% on 2K, on a 4K we have by 12%, by, by 2, 12, by, by 3, 24, by 4, 40% <laughs> penalty. Continue. Really good game. We can use ray reconstruction here, but sadly the transform of the of ray reconstruction is performance cost here on 3000 series, really expensive. Hello, uh, here we are in the game. The chunk, you go to the settings, advance. Still, quality. The settings, what you Now, let's go and enable frame generation. We're playing the 2K borders. Like you can see, no penalty. And voila, the FPS <laughs> is jumping to 1000. <laughs> wow in motion oh, I don't like it by 4 but it's working by pressing insert on keyboard we can for show you the optical color we can enable sharpness enable contrast sharpness in motion And you have the FPS limiter, which is only work on with reflex, for example. You press it, you know, li limit the game. We're gonna expect more fluidity and stable. Like I say, by three is the best. It looks really good, and uh, the FPS will be 130 to 140. Um, we have a big around eight FPS penalty of OBS, so the game will run faster if I disable the rec record. And this is it. You can optical frame generation. This is it. So, hope you understand. If you have some questions, you can always ask. Share this video. We Nvidia must uh, the people must know the truth about multi frame generation. That it's a lie. It's a lie. Uh, it, the multi frame generation is working with TA too, which is really strange but this is it see you